Hello, my dears, and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon, and tonight I have a, another spoiler-free book review to share with you guys. And tonight I'm talking about Listen to Your Sister by Nina Veal. Now, I went into this book pretty blind. I hadn't read any reviews or anything. I saw it on NetGalley. I was intrigued by the title and the cover, and I just, I just requested it. And I'm so glad I did. This is such an incredibly unique story told in such a unique way and it's going to be difficult for me to tell you too much about it because unless you've read it you won't understand what I'm saying so I'm going to do my best here I think it comes out February 4th if that's not correct I'll put the correct date in the description box but this was a wild ride this is a ride that felt like um, a fever dream, which is coincidental considering what happens in this book. Um, it feels like a dream. It feels like, at first, I know when I was about 50 pages in, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if this is for me, but by the time I hit around, a, about 100 pages in, I was like, oh, this, this is for me. <laughs> This is for me, um, and I loved it so much. So basically, let me just let me just tell you the premise here, and you can decide if it sounds like something you are interested in. This is about three siblings: Kala, Dre, and Jamie, and they are they're on their own. They're all each other has. Their dad died many many years ago, and their mom is toxic like not a not a mother so Kala she's the eldest she took guardianship of the youngest Jamie and then Dre is the middle he's two years younger than Kala my dog of course is prancing about because she knows I'm recording <laughs> so and like at this point Kala's only 25 years old and she's dealing with Jamie who is um, he's a handful, to put it lightly, you know. He's doing drugs and he's out in the streets all night. And Kala has a recurring nightmare that haunts her. Especially when her brothers aren't with her. Like when Jamie's home, when Dre's in the house, she doesn't, she's not really haunted by this nightmare. But when they are out of the house, because Dre lives on his own and Jamie is always gone. He's always gone. Even when he should be at home, he's gone. <laughs> um, she's haunted by this nightmare. And it's always the same. And it revolves around the death of their father. And in this nightmare, she sees all manner of terrible things happening to her brothers. Which I guess is why she isn't so plagued by it when they're not, when they are at home. Because she knows they're safe and her mind can kind of rest. Anyway, what this story turns into is, first of all, it's very topical. The first part is very topical. Um, it involves a protest and um, it's just very topical. <laughs> I don't know what other word to use. Um, and um, from there, it becomes a story and like I said, this is so hard to talk about um, without sounding or saying too much. Um, it's it's a story of three siblings, and it depicts in this incredibly poignant way sibling relationships. And sometimes sibling relationships is so hard to write about. Um, the and it depicts these relationships in the the worst of times and the best of times the worst of times being <laughs> being the underlined word in this story but but also the best of times and it's beautiful and it deals with trauma and the ways and it <laughs> it deals with trauma and how if we don't heal it we will remain haunted by it That's it. That's the gist of the story. And it was so good. It was so good. It was five stars for me. This has been an incredible reading year. I feel like I'm getting five star after five star. But this was so good. And anyone who has dealt with childhood trauma, 
trauma in general, you will understand it. You will feel so understood when you get to that part and you're like, you have to heal it or you will be doomed to be haunted by it. It was so beautiful. It's also incredibly weird and it's, and it's violent in parts and it's scary in parts, but it's so beautiful in other parts. I was texting, I was typing out um, a few lines from the book to send to my sister because um, both as parents and also as children and sisters, there were just so many lines that spoke to me so deeply that I was truly moved, truly moved by it. And um, yeah, that's about all I can say without saying too much. But. If this sounds at all intriguing to you, mark this one down on your calendars because it is incredible. It's incredible. And I don't know if this is Nina's first book. My dog is losing her mind over here. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know if this is Nina's first book. I'm going to look into her more. If it is, wow, I can't wait to see what comes next. If it isn't, wow, I can't wait to dive into the backlist. So incredible five stars really enjoyed it and um that is gonna do it trixie trixie um that's gonna do it for me for today uh, when she was prancing about it, i said okay i put her up on the couch now she's digging at it like it's a hole whenever i start filming she gets filled with some sort of energy and she cannot control herself anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you again really soon Bye.